Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? What is happening? What are you up to? If you are just seeing my face today, even though I'm not on makeup, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria Zelive. Believe me when I say you are at the right place. So just sit down, relax and enjoy everything I have to say to you today. <laughs> my returning subscribers i hello how on a day now <laughs> what did they happen you guys have been so amazing thank you so much for being loyal subscribers i really appreciate you all okay so before i dive into what today's episode is all about i want to first and foremost apologize on behalf of nala because she's stressing me a lot and she's going to be making noise so once in a while you might hear nala make <laughs> as you can see today i am not on makeup i hope you do not mind but i think i am still looking good my glowing skin <laughs> so on today's episode <laughs> on today's episode i am laughing because we are all going to be laughing a lot i have my very hilarious friend with me not in person i'm going to be adding her to the call her name is adeze adeze is my childhood friend our parents grew up together and we're from the same place we are from orite in anambra state so we're going to dive into our culture a little bit and oh ada is newly wedded yes my girl is newly married so she's going to tell us a little bit of what it feels like being married Ada, please tell us your full name. My name is Ikewo Lillian Adeze. Well, I'm newly married. I'm now Aniyem and I'm Lillian Adeze. Thank you. <laughs> Ada is an entrepreneur. <laughs> Ada is an entrepreneur. She owns a beauty supply in Abuja. She sells everything. When oh, I say yeah. everything, she sells weaves, wigs, jewelry. Ada, just tell us a little bit about your beauty supply and where it is located in Abuja. Lily Beauty Collection is located at Moody Plaza before Melvino Hotel and this is Abuja on Caru Road. I sell makeup, hairs, quality hairs, perfumes, as in to buy oil <laughs> perfumes. I sell jewelry, I sell packets, hairs, depending on the one that you want. I sell pomade, I sell cream, honey, and others. Yes, my babe, ma market yourself for them. <laughs> Go and patronize Ada. She sells everything. And oh, she is a makeup artist. She does wonderful makeup. Okay, so. Yay, I <laughs> yes, I'm a makeup artist. Come, let's go. I'm a kid to speak. Yes, she's going to slay your face. <laughs> Okay, so Ada, I remember you and I, we used to talk a lot. You would call me and we'll be talking about relationship and how hard it was to find someone that can be committed. But that same year, something good happened, you know. That same year, we were always talking about this. You met someone, he proposed to you and you got married that same year. Please, can you just tell us a little bit about how you felt, you know, with the whole marriage thing? Hi, God, I don't know where to start. In fact, I don't know where to start. Okay, when I met my hubby, I was single. Even then, I was, I, I used to talk with my friend Victoria. We always discuss ah, that boyfriend, boyfriends are scared these days. So God help us. But I was so surprised. In fact, eh, I don't know how God did it for me. As in, it was like miracle. I met my husband last year, January 6th. So we exchanged numbers, we started chatting on Facebook and WhatsApp. Then he came to my house on May. On the same day he proposed to me, I was like, hey, this guy, hey, he engaged engagement ring, yeah, I worry. As in the two was like, 
like I do not understand the fact everything was not from God. Okay, so after he proposing to me, he now went home. He told his mom. His mom invited me to their house. The mom has loved me so much. She called, she, she called me. Wow. And with so she told my hubby, yes, this girl is good. I like her. She's social. Yes, I like her. I want her to be my daughter-in-law. I was like, wow. So my hobby that day, my hobby cooked sala soup is gary. Um, oh, I ate this soup where I started sleeping. I was plating meat, fish. I ate and I was sleeping. The only thing I can I remember is that my husband said, baby, wake up. It's late. You need to go home. Uh-huh. So my mother-in-law and my husband took me home and they went back the same day. So Ada, what was it like getting married? The whole Iqua Kanozo. In fact, our bride price, you know people always say bride price is too expensive or it's too long, that it is all of that. What do you think? Tell us the truth. Is the bride price that expensive? For me, I don't think so. That I don't think so because my husband was like, ah, this bright price is not what I, I expected. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. As in, he was like saying that the bright price list is, is okay. That I don't know, is it is, is it because I'm from Orifte? Because yes, my hometown is Orifte. Yes, so it depends where you come <laughs> from. Do you understand? Yeah. Because I used to hear that in most states, people that their bright price is like, as in, you would buy the whole supermarket <laughs> and then the whole market. Do you understand? Before you come and marry the adult. Then for me, I don't think so because me, my bright price was okay. My husband did everything. As in, Complete. My husband did everything. Though I was not there because for later he told me, doing right price is only your husband, your father, and the first son in your family. Do mm-hmm. you understand? Yeah. So I, I was not there for later. My husband told me, yeah. first of all, the, the first thing to do is introduction. Your husband and their people will come for it to, as it, to introduce themselves to, the, to your daddy. Mm-hmm. Then the second one is right price. Then once he finish, uh, once he finish paying all the bride price and um, then you people now fix your traditional and uh, white wedding. Then there is another thing that I want to say. Okay. Some please. people like these days, uh, mm-hmm. uh, like these days, people don't do traditional marriage. Do you understand? Yeah. They, they only do um, white wedding. The only thing that you need to do is just go and settle the case men. Like they're going to write down the list of the things that is required do you understand mm-hmm. so it's left for your husband to go and pay everything then you cannot go ahead with the white wedding forget about the traditional marriage that's all wow that's good all With these me, men watching me. Yes, I did put my wedding, my trial, my bride price, my introduction, everything excellent. So it was okay. <laughs> okay. All these men that want to marry Igbo brides, there's nothing stopping you. Adam just told you bride price is not as expensive as they say. So please go and marry. <laughs> okay. What is it like being a missus now? Missus. Um, I'm enjoying it, my sister. So I'm enjoying this missus. It's not easy. <laughs> At least sometimes if I'm going, they'll call me. Unye Piggy, Mrs. Lagabu. I want to see the fact that it gives me joy. I'm telling you the fact. So people like my gatekeeper, they will they'll call me madam. Madam, mm-hmm. you said when I was single, nobody calls me madam. But now they used to call me madam. Oh god, I'm blushing. <laughs> Mrs. Ada is enjoying marriage, so marriage is sweet. Marriage is sweet when you're with the right person. Okay, so as a married woman now, what is your advice, first of all, to men getting married to Igbo bride? What is your advice to them? Before you get married to Igbo bride, you must have cash, money. I mean money, money, money is talking, okay? Money, money is gold. This is the man I want to marry. Seeing him alone gives me peace of mind. And how much is peace of mind? Let me pay for it. Huh? I'm going to go crazy where you go for peace of mind. Before you marry an evil bride, you're supposed to have money. Some guys have this mentality. They'll just be looking for 
you or maybe make girls. No, I don't. I don't want it. It's very bad. So if you want to marry a lady from evil, as in you have to be endowed, as in you can see card, a jingo, a piyota. And again, you have to look good. Okay, so now that you've advised the men, what is your advice to the, the Igbo women that are getting married? Okay, Igbo women that are getting married are supposed to have something to you know. Don't go, don't go and be um, what um, what we are called. Every time you know, no, you need this one. You know, I don't want to do that. No. <laughs> So Ada has just advised you as a bride you need to have something doing. It's advisable to have something doing before getting married, right? That's what you're advising them. Yes. So have something doing. Even when you get into the marriage, make sure you have something doing. And once you enter into your room, don't go and start eating, then you will be becoming fat. No, you need to look sexy. As in, when I mean sexy for your husband, Tell them. like me that is based in Abuja, I know they joke with my other. If I want, I wear bone shorts, come out because I don't want everybody to take my husband for me. That's <laughs> Okay, Ada, now just imagine your husband is watching you. But wait, first of all, we need to know what you call your husband because we've heard you say, Wunye Lagabum, Wunye Biggie, Wunye You need to tell us what you call your husband. Tell us what you call your husband so that. Okay, my friends, my friends call me as in Wunye Lagabum. Then I call my husband my better half, my heart beats. Yes. Better half and heart beats. So, Ada, imagine your heart beat is listening to you right now on my YouTube channel. What would you love to tell your better half? <laughs> As a baby, better half, my heart beats. I'm happy that you are listening to me and you are hearing what I'm saying. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Ada, thank Ada with me for participating on my YouTube channel today. Ada, thank you so much. Follow Ada on her business page on Instagram at Lily's Beauty Collection. And her personal account is Baby Swanky. Yes, you heard it, Baby Swanky. My baby girl is a swanky. <laughs> And go and patronize how her beauty supply is by Moody Plaza. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe to my friend's channel, Victoria Zeli Day. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Ada, thank you so much for participating. We really appreciate you. We will tell our viewers. Bye. <laughs> thank you. Hi, bye. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you love this video. If you like anything about this video at all, give us a thumbs up. And guys, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss out on all the amazing content I have to give you. Thank you so much for watching once again. And Ada, thank you so much for participating. Until next time, guys. Bye.